अच्छू 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 Oh my goodness, not again. My chest feels tight and I can't stop coughing. I think I need to go see the doctor on campus. Hi there. What can I help you with today? For the past few days, I felt very busy and short of breath throughout the day. Hmm, very interesting. Has your environment at home changed at all? Well, my mom just got a new cat, Whiskey. I did notice right away that I felt a bit itchy and had a runny nose from the day she got here. That eventually got better, but now something's bothering my airways. Let's take a look at the role allergens play in the body. There are many types of allergens all around us, such as pollens and weeds, grass, dust, pets, and more. For many people, these allergens are harmless and don't cause any issues. But for some, these allergies can create an allergic response. Of course, the symptoms are occurring in your respiratory tract, but it's your body's immune system that plays a big role in handling the allergens you are exposed to. The white blood cells in the immune system, known as eosinophils, at high amounts can cause inflammation, leading to the symptoms you initially felt, such as a runny nose and itchy skin. But for some people, this reaction in the body can also impact the lungs and the airways. Wait, does that mean I have asthma? Well, it's possible that you have allergen-induced asthma. Certain allergens, such as your cat, may be causing you to feel asthma-like symptoms and need an inhaler to open up your airways. A reaction happens when our immune system's proteins, known as antibodies, mistake these harmless substances as invaders. The immune system's job is to protect our body, and so these antibodies bind to the allergen present. Chemicals such as histamine are then produced and can cause the asthma symptoms to worsen by creating an inflammatory response in the lungs and causing muscle contractions in the branches of the lungs. These muscle contractions that occur can cause you to feel wheezy and tight in the chest. When these symptoms do come around for people, there are a few different approaches they can take. Many people with asthma and allergies take the blue Ventolin inhaler. Ventolin is a bronchodilator, which relaxes the muscles in the airways and increases airflow to the lungs. There are also corticosteroid treatments, antibody treatments, and many other methods to get allergen-induced asthma under control. Let's run a few allergen and breathing tests and see what's best for you. But once you leave here, I think you should check out our university's cardiorespiratory lab. They do a lot of research here on allergen-induced asthmas with patients just like you. Hmm. So many people have allergies and asthma just like me. I think I'm going to go see what the respiratory lab is all about. Hi, I'm Tara Shime. Uh, I, I'm a clinical research coordinator here um, at the cardiorespiratory lab. Um, I've been here for probably about 15 years or so. So what we do here is, um, in this cardiorespiratory lab, we use um, a clinical model, which is the Allergen ch Challenge model. Um, so it's creating a standard, and this standard is used to evaluate different potential medications um, that are created through big pharmaceutical companies to test their effectiveness and their effects on people with asthma. So looking at their bronchoconstriction and their level of um, cells of inflammation. So the main one that we're focusing on right now is with, um, it's with a company called AstraZeneca and it's looking at a molecule called Benralizumab. It's a it's an injectable, just kind of subcutaneous under the, the skin. And what we're trying to look at with this, this drug has already been, it's actually been approved in the US already. Um, it has gone through phase one, um, the phase one of the tri clinical trial process. So it's proven to be safe, safe effective. Um, now it went through phase two, which kind of shows the effectiveness of the drug. And now this happens to be a phase three trial, which is kind of a more 
expensive, extensive study where we're, we have sites all across Canada that are studying this drug. This drug is looking at a lot of um, data points, I guess, in the human body. So we're looking at bone marrow, we're looking at blood, we're looking at airways, we're looking at lung tissue, um, and we're looking at the eosinophil levels. So what this benralizumab is supposed to do, is supposed to deplete eosinophils and basophils. So in fact, when you do that to someone um, who has asthma, they're gonna find their, their symptoms aren't gonna be as severe. So they're not gonna have as much constriction. They're not gonna have as much uh, tightness. Or There's a number of ways to get involved with us. We're looking for subjects with a spectrum of, of things. If you have asthma, that makes you a great candidate. If you have allergies, that makes you a great candidate. Um, some people who don't have allergies or asthma, you can still take part in it because what we usually do is, with a lot of these projects, um, looking at for master's students, PhD students, um, we're always looking for normal controls as well. So even if you don't have anything, you're still valuable to us. You can also email me personally, Tarashime, so it's Tshime, T-S-C-I-M-E at McMaster.ca. Uh, you can even call my extension here. It's 1-905-525-9140, extension 22600. Um, just have, have, you know, itchy, watery eyes, runny nose. Um, we're doing studies that are um, have to do with allergic rhinitis. So we're looking at the nose and, and all of that. We're also looking at studies that we're actually kind of dipping more into that actually atopic dermatitis field as well. So people who have eczema or people who have um, skin conditions, we're kind of branching off into that as well. Um, so anything to do with allergies, asthma, just give us a call. Well, I sure learned a lot about my allergies and asthma today. Did you know that Benraluzumab is currently used for asthma treatment in the U.S. and goes by the brand name Fesenra? For more information, check out these resources below.